Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yeah, so we have seen something happen in Jamaica in 2024. Yeah, you know, we are in January, just a new year. And if you look right now on your LCD, yeah, man, your phone, your computer, your TV or whatever, yeah, man, you will see a man with a um, cover on his, his head, trying to mask his face as a um, Leroy or Bradshaw. But, you know, he, you know, he wasn't that good in masking it. The unthinkable happened in Jamaica in 2024. Seeing a PNP criminal organization politician, Jylan Silvera, riding in the same prisoner truck as the common criminals. Yes, we have never ever dreamed that something like this could ever happen in Jamaica. So based on what happened, people say that they have a, they are optimistic about the future of Jamaica. But what some people are optimistic about what they must remember that don't start to celebrate too much, you know. Because although this is just a tip of what's hap uh, what has happened, remember that you know these people they are still in charge of the system and all of them are friends. Remember, you know, it's not that the police had wanted to arrest him. I remember the cover up started from Sergeant Dabney, um, the same policeman who got the hundred thousand um, dollar from our friend uh, Jalan Sylvia so I want you to watch this video because you will never dream that something like this could have ever happened in a Jamaica the criminal's paradise you crazy no man politician riding I see him prisoner truck with come on criminal this is an earth of man so we have to give you know thanks and praises for um, you know Jamaica turning a new leaf you know we're turning a new leaf we can see that um, the untouchables are touchable now them, you know, no, them no can't operate with no impunity as if they them have immunity. So what people is waiting for now is uh, Patrick Bailey to face the court. Yes, and remember, you know, in Jamaica, you know, there's no statute of limitation, you know. You understand? So for murder, so we we'll see what is going to happen with that. You know, you know, we have been pressuring it from ever since. Cause we don't know neither the, uh, Mr. Bailey. Now, Mr. Genius, but we, do, we at the Jamaica Young Police Center, we believe in a justice. You're not supposed to cover up murder. So, I want you to watch this video. Sh show you that this is like a new day in a Jamaica. So, you watch, you listen. Uh, well, there's nothing to listen. I just you watch and you decide to show you that this is a new day in a Jamaica. If someone had told you 10 years ago or even a year ago that um, you would see a video like this where a politician, especially a member of the PMP criminal organization, traveling in a prisoner truck with common criminals. Normally, you know, you know I'm a politician, I go quote, remember current Spencer, you know, current Spencer riding a police vehicle by himself, you know, in my royal read, you know. So what changes? Well, let me say, boy, there's no political interference in what is happening with the police. So you see, like the police now are the only ones that are holding their own. So, boy, in the morning, I run for the police, they are central. Or they're supposed to run it, although money run over a weekend and him getting mattress. So, because the criminal, them are watch and all them things, that boy, I'm tell you, you know, hey, the criminal, they are Jamaica, I say, boy, oh, for you come to jail and them things, you know, no guy is supposed to get the preferential treatment. You know, and you don't know the man already, I get preferential treatment. But we soon um, delve into another part of this, this saga because this thing is an ongoing thing, may I tell you. 
those of you who have watched the um watch watch watching your tvs your smartphones or computers whether it's a laptop or a desktop i've i've never dreamed that you would have seen a pmp criminal organization politician yes or any politician uh, you understand arrested and charged with murder for killing his wife in jamaica yeah we never dreams that something like that could happen especially if you're a politician kill him wife never dream you know but hey but i just saw it go, so we see it so jamaicans have contacted us on this channel sharing their optimism about the Jamaican Constabulary Force and its members because of the arrest of Jail and Silvera, which most of them did not expect to materialize. Still, they are proud that Jamaica is beginning to look like a country with a future. Yes, you have not subscribed to the Jamaica Young Police channel. Yeah, man, please subscribe. Only the notification bell so that whenever we release a video, you will be the first one to receive the notification. Please give the video a thumbs up. As there is no like button on YouTube, it is misinformation and laziness to call the thumbs up button a like button. So share the channel with your friend, girlfriend, boyfriend or neighbor and tell a friend to tell a friend about the Jamaica Young Police channel and that our priority here is to save lives. So please comment and please comment below in the comment section and keep the conversation going so we have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of optimism from jamaicans all over who have reached out to us about the incredible recent arrest of jail and silvera it's a moment many did not expect to see but it's a true testament to the progress being made by the jamaica constabulary force and its dedicated members jamaica is swiftly becoming a beacon of hope for a bright future and we could not be prouder yes so by doing so you will receive updates if you subscribe to the channel whenever we release this new content related to the Jamaica Constabulary Force and effort to safeguard our community so remember that um, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we are all about saving life and we are all about the truth. We don't care who the guy or who the girl is. You understand? We just hear to tell you the real mama papa truth. So we value your input and would love to hear from you, from you with your thoughts in the comment section below. So let's keep the conversation growing and we strive for a safer, brighter future for all Jamaicans. You understand? So together we can inspire hope and make lasting difference so stay tuned for more inspiring content from the jamaica young police channel so the better part about it you know to see um is that the same politicians is driving the same prisoner truck as our common criminals who are in custody for see for serious crimes such as murder robberies rape and other serious offenses no special treatment going to and from court so we know that in time the PMP criminal organization, I um big wigs them see this, them vex. I uh, wouldn't vex with the police. So it's fine, it's the police now, you know, because you know say everything that happened in a Jamaica right now, I can we can I can squarely put the finger right at the PMP. They are the one that dismantled the police force. Make the police force become impo impo impotent and have a lot of in incompetent police officers and I police force. Education doesn't mean makes them smart. You understand? They are the one that dry arm um, cause the mass exodus of the police them um, by targeting the police with arrest with indicom. So now yes, at least the police is letting them feel. Make them make them feel. The CMP and P them show them what it is because I any idea everything will right back to the police. But the other thing now is the judges. But we soon touch on that. So if someone had told us further that this would happen would us would we at the jamaica young police we say that could not happen yeah you couldn't lock up a, poli a pmp policy in jamaica you're crazy that it could happen much more to see it happen so it showed the country is changing because of because of the era of social media warriors who know their stuff and are fighting for the voice of the voices of the unknown mark golden dayton campbell and others could be arrested and charged with murder of Melissa Sil Silvera too. Yeah, and the reason being is that 
you have to understand you know, that these people, that these men and, and women of the PMP criminal organization, they have played their part and their role in supporting the cover up of this murder of this woman. Yes, and they are so confident that this man had used his lice of firearm to kill her. What could have enraged this man for him to kill the woman that he claimed that he loved? And she's the woman of his dreams. But yet, he saw it fit to end her life in her sleep. So, we don't, we, we cannot um, speak, and you know, when somebody soul depart the earth because you know your body is a temple your body is like a vehicle and you know the interior is the engine so you, the organs are operate and even like right now yours truly is talking here we don't know um you know oxygen you know flowing in your body and all of these things but the soul nobody can put on our finger on the soul so when that woman, when that life was taken, so once the life is taken from the person, you know, you know, the soul leave the body because the body no longer can transport the soul because the soul is gone because the body is dead. So, you know, whenever you are talking or doing anything, that's yours, you know, it's, it's your internal engine that keep it rolling. So he shot, he, he killed it and everything just stopped. And because he knows that he was so confident that they would get get away with it that they didn't even try to hide anything the only thing that they they have done was to refurnish the house where the murder occurred and because they know that the police force itself is corrupt i always say that without any apologies if you notice even the commissioner of police is absent we haven't seen him major anthony anderson since his murder we see him a few times but we haven't heard him said anything and one of the main reasons why he hasn't said anything is because, remember, the man is a, not only a novice, you know, the man is ignorant to police work. Because this man was a soldier. So, for him to go up there and even address the matter, he would embarrass himself. So, he has done the right thing and leave it, not to the expert, but to people who are police officers like Harv uh, Fitzdaley. So, the question is that, you know, will the police arrest Mark Golden and Dr. Dayton Campbell for allegedly trying to cover up the murder of Melissa Silvera? And the answer is, it's more in, in, it's, it's in between the affirmative and negative. But we expect the police are supposed to be questioning these men in the coming week. But you know, as usual, you know, the police don't, they, you know, the police do not try, do not investigate case in the media. And rightfully so, you're not supposed to be doing that. So whatever information we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel share with you, yeah, you know, we can't stop people and them thing. As some people complain about others, but hey, look here, I just saw it go on them thing. Because information, yeah, make it flow. You understand? Because we appreciate everyone and we... Look here, as we say, you know, if our life is just a way alone, we don't want it. Because we just want justice and we want back our country. So this is, right now, many people I feel like say, this is the right step in the right direction where they feel like they start to get back Jamaica. Hopefully. That's all we can say. Hopefully. We cannot say it is it. Only thing we can say is hopefully. That is what is going to happen. And... Because these people, you know, very powerful, you know, and they have no respect for the rule of law. Yeah, man, the PMP is a criminal organization. Remember, you know, even the same Mark Golden that you're looking at right now. Um, Mark Golden, yeah, Mark Golden is a man that, you know, um, if, you have a, if you as a mother or a father and you live in any PMP community, please discourage your son and all these people from taking up guns to commit crimes to the PMP criminal organization. We know that they are very violent. We have seen what they have done uh, with the killing of Sweeney and Rum Punch over there by Gregor Park. And we know that Mark Golden. Mark Golden is a unrepentant demon. Yeah, man, we said that without an apology. Yeah, man, Mark Golden had Satan himself, man. When those people were killing Gregor Park, Mark Golden not even offering the farmer condolences. He never even visit. You ever see Mark Golden visit anyone? And Mark Golden is not a leader that is uplifting or inspiring. Mark Golden is a part of the Debt Merchant Club and Dayton Campbell. 
Remember that they are the one that fuel all of the killings over there in Gregor Park? Yes. And they haven't shown any remorse or offering any form of sympathy to the victims. So these people are some heartless people. But the good thing is that we are seeing a new day in Jamaica. Yes, where we can see that um, even the little man, the little man who, who has been always been held account for his action, will finally, finally, after all these decades, yeah man, we have seen when P.J. Patterson was Prime Minister, when Michael Manley was, because you know the police force itself is an arm of the PMP criminal organization, you know. So this is like a divorce, you know, when them charge Jail and Silvera. So that's why most people cannot believe. Because the police force itself, you know, majority of police, them, you know, I am telling you, even right now, you know, our PMP supporters, PMP criminal supporters, you know, because they love the criminality, they love the corruption. They know want a nice Jamaica and them things. You know. And oh, some, of, some of them get even promotion the other day because you have a man with one DCP in here, Stuart, in corrupt him, corrupt him, corrupt him, buck. I don't know how many who visa yet. You understand? In, yeah, Stuart, Richard Stuart is a corrupt police officer. When I say no, allege. You understand? Because we want him to win America, so he come here and the next thing then can lock, get to lock him up based on what we have. Corrupt police. You know, we don't like police with corrupt on them thing. You understand? We don't like them. But as we can see what is happening right now in Jamaica, hopefully, you know, it will be for the better. Because we are tired of the corruption and that is what is killing the country. So, those of, those of you who have been pessimistic we at the jamaica young police channel we are optimistic about the future because we can see things about to change we have seen this is a new day so those of you who don't believe in leadership we can see it coming right now whether it's through pressure we don't care leadership is leadership and we are seeing it and we are very very happy for what is happening in jamaica in 2024 january 2024 this is one of the biggest cover up we ever see. All the way. And trust me, whether or not you want to believe it, although you don't talk about cremation and all of these things, we knew that from a long time. It's already there, you know, we've lost look on the first video based on information because we have contact with people who are high up in a PMP criminal organization. I will tell you, you know, sir, we can't okay, point and say we have any labor right for them thing. Eh? Yeah, when, when we say labor right from we don't have no we don't have no body, we don't have no pee, we don't have no connection with the IRK or the Jamaica Labour Party. So when people say we are labor, right, we never we never tell nobody say we are labor right or PMP, you know. Them just saying that because we speak the truth. You understand? And that's why we say um Andrew Willis is Michael Manley two point oh because we know Michael Manley we operate. He have some good ideas, but the bad thing is that he destroy many, many lives. Jamaica and people in our diaspora if you have never feel optimistic or hopeful or you can say this is the first glimmer of hope for the island this are the first something unprecedented happened and yeah and all right and we're putting a little caviar we know that most people most people never know this or even the prime minister got to wonder we know all right did you know that you see the man at the bottom on the uh, right bottom of the LCD looking at Mark Golin. Did you know that Mark Golin asked the Prime Minister to intervene for them to take Jail and Silvia to Upper Camp? Wanted him to have the same, um, to go in the same cell as Christopher Duduskoch. I rest my case. Don't ask me why no. You have seen, I've shown you people things that most of you never know. I release even a recording of the Asian man, Guy Philippi, in a, in a Jamaica, up to an hour. Don't ask me how I get my recording, and I won't tell you. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.